In this video we'll be constructing the circumcenter of a triangle. Again, file, save as, name your file correctly, make sure you know where you're saving it so you can upload it when you're finished. Go to view, uncheck axes, we don't need those today. Go to options, labeling, and let's go with no new objects. Once again, start with a triangle, any triangle. So I'm going to use the polygon tool and there is my triangle. Alright, circumcenter involves perpendicular bisectors. Perpendicular bisector, okay, don't confuse it with the median, don't confuse it with an altitude, it's got a characteristic of each, uh, but it's different than both of them at the same time. So it goes to the midpoint of this side and is perpendicular to this side. So I need the midpoint first. So make sure you choose your midpoint tool. Get the midpoint of each side. And see if you use your arrow tool, those stay midpoints no matter how you manipulate it. Perpendicular bisectors, now I want the perpendicular line tool. And if it was an altitude, it would be perpendicular to this bottom segment, segment containing point A. A perpendicular bisector may or may not hit point A. It doesn't necessarily. The point it hits is the midpoint. So click a segment and click the midpoint of that segment. Click a segment and then click the midpoint of that segment. And those are your three perpendicular bisectors. You can see none of them are also altitudes because none of them hit um, none of them hit that vertex. Both altitudes and medians both come down from a vertex. So these are not altitudes, these are not medians, these are perpendicular bisectors. All right, and you see your circumcenter right there. Let's go ahead and put that point in. So I want the intersection of two objects. Pick two of your perpendicular bisectors, it doesn't matter which one. There's your circumcenter. Let's use the move tool or the arrow tool to rename it. Right click the point, go to rename, call it circumcenter. Okay. All right. Well, remember the circumcenter is equidistant from the vertices of the triangle. Okay. It also has a circle that's circumscribed about the triangle, or I should say it's the center of a circle that's circumscribed about the triangle. So I want to draw that circle and then we'll be finished. Circle tool, there's a couple ways to make circles. Okay, I can make a circle through three points. Uh, we could actually use that in this case and use the three vertices of the triangle. I could make it with a given radius. I don't want to do that one because okay, the radius is going to vary depending on what I do with my, my three points. I'll go ahead and use the center and point. Okay? So you ha have to do it in the right order. First you choose the center of the circle and then you choose a point on the circle. Center of the circle is the circumcenter. Point on the circle is any one of the three vertices. It does not matter which one you pick. Okay. You choose the arrow tool and drag this around. You see that no matter what happens, uh, the center of the circle is always that point of concurrency, the circumcenter, and each one of the vertices is always on the triangle or is always on the circle. Okay. If it's obtuse triangle, the circumcenter is external. If it's a right triangle, the circumcenter is on the midpoint of the hypotenuse. Okay, make sure you save your file and then upload it to School Fusion.